Okay, so there may come a time where you need to outsource your ads to an ad agency. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to give access to your ad account and to your page to that agency. So if it's a business, you're going to set them up with access via Assign Partners. And you're going to click through Assign Partners under both the Ad Account section as well as under the Pages section. So let's go ahead and do that real quick here for this page. Let's click on Assign Partners. And what you're going to need to do is you're either going to give uh, your business ID or give them a link to share. So let's go ahead and click on Get a Link to Share. And then this is where you can set up the settings for them in terms of their access. Now, in terms of managing a page, uh, they may not need full admin access. Uh, you'll need to work with them to try to determine exactly what, what it is that they, they suggest that they need. Um, but you probably only really need to give them the ability to, to create ads and view page performance. They probably don't need to see the earnings insights for the page. Uh, and they might not really need to, to publish content from the page uh, either. Um, now, your, your agency that you're working with, they may moderate messages for you uh, for people that are responding to your ads. So I'm going to go ahead and select Manage Page. I'll turn that on here. And then you can see Facebook gives us a link to share. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Copy and then click co uh, Close. And then I would just give that link that I just copied, I give that to the agency uh, via email, Slack, uh, Facebook Messenger, however you're communicating with that agency. And then they should be able to add themselves over uh, as a partner in Business Manager. So I'm going to pause here and show you how that looks on the other side. Okay, guys, so we just created a, a link over in my wife's account to grant access to a partner. Uh, we use the assign partners option under business settings pages and I shared that link over to the other computer that I'm working on uh, from my own account uh, pretending that my own account is a, a third party like a marketing agency that's going to be running ads for this Framingham window cleaning business right so the purpose of this video is just to show you how you would be sharing that access to some third party if they're going to be running ads for you uh, now keep in mind, you can use this video also for if you're going to be running ads for someone else, you'll get a sense of how this is all set up. So it, it might be where your client is granting that access to you. They're going to share that link. And now you'd be adding that into your business manager. So they would give you this link and you're going to add this in. Uh, we're going to pretend we're the marketing agency now. So on this page here, what you see is... Uh, that link after I click through it, it brings me to the option of either creating a new business here in Business Manager or I could add this business page under an existing business. OK, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, create. A, or actually, I'm not going to create a new business. I'm going to go ahead and add it in to an existing business. So I'm just going to go ahead and click there and then click on next. And it's going to be connected into this business. Just a confirmation step here. If I didn't want to actually do that, I could go back. But let's go ahead and click on confirm. And so now that business is going. That business page is going to show up under all of these pages that show up here for this particular business account that we see off to the left. All right. So I'm going to hop back over to the other computer real quick and add uh, in an ad account so that we can also set up ads for this Framingham business under this other uh, marketing agency's business.